Now, yet another explosive tape tonight from Project Veritas exposing fake news, CNN's abuse of bias, their fraudulent fake news, their outright corruption. But you don't have to take my word for it. Just listen to a CNN staffer in his own words telling the truth about CNN and laying out how the network was out to destroy Trump at all costs and spread as much fake news, as many lies, as much propaganda as possible along the way. You decide. Look what we did. We got Trump back. I am 100% going to say it. And I 100% believe it, that if it wasn't for CNN, I don't know that Trump would have got voted out. Our focus was to get Trump out of office, right? Without saying it, that's what it was, right? Trump uh, was... Uh, I, I don't know, like his hand was shaking or whatever like that. We brought in like so many medical people to like all tell a story that like it was all speculation. Like, he was like neurological damage, like that, that he was losing it, he's unfit to, you know, whatever. We were, we were creating a story there that we didn't know anything about. You know, that's, that's I think that's probably it. And it gets even worse because the same CNN technical director totally blows the lid on how the network targets and smears people they just don't like. In this case, it's Congressman Matt Gates. Take a look. Again, you decide. If the agenda, say, is to, like, get, like, Matt Gates right now, he's, like, like, he's Republican, like, uh, he's a problem for the Democratic Party because he's so conservative, right? And he can cause a lot of hiccups in passing of laws. And, uh, so it's, it would be great for the Democratic Party to get him out. So we're going to keep running those stories to keep hurting him and make it so that it can't be buried. That's propaganda. It's helping us in some way. Talk about zero integrity, zero credibility. Inside this is fake news CNN. Now, we did reach out to fake news and the network for comment. They never got back to us. I tweeted out to Humpty. He didn't get back to us. But get this, James O'Keefe actually caught, got caught up with the man who you see in that video. We have that tape. Take a look. Charlie. Is this seat taken? I'm James O'Keefe with Project Veritas. You're a technical director at CNN. You're on camera talking about the importance of getting Trump out of office without saying that's what you're intended. I want to ask you. I've asked you now. What you're you? Close to you were within six feet of me. I've got your mask on. Well, I can I can stand six feet away from you and I'd ask like the same questions. Do. That sounds like a good idea. You're not going to get me to talk about anything, so... Well, you also, well, you also said that uh, it was, in your words, quote, propaganda. You admit your network is helping certain candidates for political office, and you're admitting that you wanted to hide it. Why hide it, Charlie? Why hide it? They never have the courage to say publicly what they will say privately. That's courage right there. That's courage. So when's Mr. Potato Head, Jeff Zucker, or Fox-obsessed stalker Humpty Dumpty, or Humpty Dumpty's sidekick, Oliver, whoever his name is, chime in on their network's massive corruption? Well, uh, guess what? It's now on tape for the entire world to see. They ignored this story all day. I wonder why. Anyway, remember, it's the same network that advanced three straight years of Russia, Russia, Russia lies, one conspiracy theory after another, one fraudulent hoax after another on you, the American people, and they're now being exposed for who they really are. So do they have the courage, the wherewithal, the integrity to take responsibility for being propagandists, lying to the American people day in and day out? When are they going to take responsibility for running what is nothing but an anti-Trump, pro-democratic socialist propaganda channel under the guise of news? Do they have an ounce of integrity left to admit what a massive corruption at the core? The same company, they say they want to de-platform Fox News hosts. Okay, one difference between me and them, I'm honest about who I am. Yeah, I'm a member of the press. Uh, but I'm like the entire newspaper. On this program, on my radio program, we do news. We do breaking news. We do investigative reporting. Uh, let's see, Obama's radical associations, uh, the deep state, you know, the dirty dossier that Hillary Clinton bought and paid for, stuff they wouldn't cover. We do opinion. Uh, I am a conservative, and I say so up front, publicly. We talk about culture. We talk about sports. I'm a conservative. I'm honest about it. They claim... 
that they're unbiased news when in fact they are liberal socialist hacks and propagandists. Here with Reaction, Project Veritas, CEO, founder, James O'Keefe. You know, we've been covering your work for a long time. You've had two big cases now. This is an explosive tape you got today. You also had a huge victory against the New York Times by the New York Supreme Court that grants Project Veritas and you discovery. And I am very interested in that case. And I'm following both your case and Governor Palin's case for very selfish reasons very closely. Let's talk about this tape first. Well, Sean, this is truly an extraordinary series of events. I've been coming on your show for 10 years and I've known you for a long time. It's probably the biggest story by implication, what it represents. This guy, a director at CNN, you saw the tapes. He's admitting the network is propaganda. He says they were trying to get Trump out without admitting that's what they were doing. You saw me confront him about that. I just want them to be honest. He's not being honest. They're deceiving. And he says that uh, they're helping Biden. They're painting Biden as, in order to help him uh, with his aviator shades. So this is an extraordinary admission. It's the number two trending story globally on Twitter, which is ironic because Jack Dorsey banned Project Veritas from Twitter, yet our stories trend on Twitter. That means the truth is getting out there no matter what. And I mean, this is what we've suspected. It doesn't shock your audience, but it is amazing that the man was caught on tape. He's not just an unwitting whistleblower. He's participating in what he knows is wrong. He says it's propaganda, but as Charlie Chester, the director at CNN, says in this hidden camera recording, he says, fear sells, Sean. You also discovered some other things um, in terms of how he identified himself on social media and how he's identifying himself now. And tell us about some of the changes. You tried to get comment from the network. Tell us, right. I guess you got in contact with Oliver, whatever his name, the guy that wants yes. to be Humpty. That guy. Yes, Sean, we, we, uh, we spoke to Oliver Darcy today. He hung up the phone on me. Oliver Darcy is one of Twitter's uh, top media personalities. Uh, the man, the communications well, person uh, at CNN let's who allowed... Not, let's not overstate the fact. I mean, his aspiration in life is to take over Humpty's slot one day. And not exactly a high bar, but go ahead. And, and Darcy used to work for the Conservative Leadership Institute, but I guess flipped and now, you know, chases glory. But we, we talked to Oliver Darcy, hung up the phone on me, uh, um, uh, an, another spokesperson we've tried to get in touch with. Uh, but interestingly enough, this guy, Charlie Chester, has deleted his LinkedIn page. He's taken down his account. Uh, he said on LinkedIn, Sean, that he was, played a pivotal role in the 2020 election at CNN. So this is, I don't know if this is an FEC violation, but the implications are staggering because Google and Twitter prefer CNN in their algorithms, and CNN considers themselves the most trusted name in news. But here they are admitting that they're trying to help certain political candidates and they're trying to hide that. Uh, but Sean, there's been radio silence from CNN. No one has been able to get a comment from CNN on this, so we intend to release part two tomorrow, which we think is even worse. Talks about COVID and some of the fraud and misrepresentation the network does as it relates to COVID. So we're just gonna keep releasing more tapes and we do think uh, either this man will be terminated uh, or CNN will have to issue a comment. Um, which I would be interested in, how many days worth of material should we expect so I can book you in advance? <laughs> because At I'm least a few. I hope to come on your program tomorrow to talk about the tape. Oh, you'll, tomorrow. You'll be tomorrow. It is worse. We'll look yes. forward to and, tomorrow. And yes, sir. You mentioned the lawsuit against the New York Times for defamation. We did win in the Supreme Court of New York. Uh, we're getting past motion to dismiss. And, Sean, I intend to sue CNN for defamation. Anna Cabrera is the host that lied about us and wow. said that we were uh, taken down for, uh, she mentioned misinformation. That's just simply not so. Actual malice is the standard in the United States. We believe we can win against CNN. So we, we are, I'm announcing on your show, I'm gonna sue CNN for defamation. We're already winning in the Supreme Court of New York. We're the eighth plaintiff since 1964 to get past motion to dismiss. I think a lot of people need to start suing the media for defamation. It's disgraceful what they're doing. It's disgusting. Now they're caught. And uh, if Charlie Chester has not been fired, I'm pretty sure that uh, by tomorrow, Sean, he will be. I might be uh, filing some myself. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow night. James O'Keefe, thank, thank you for you. sharing. Great job.